This video is an overview of the natural cubic spline interpolation. For demonstration purposes, assume that we have some data points. We want to interpolate a data point at a certain location using the natural cubic spline. The word natural means that there is zero curvature at the two boundaries. The word Cubic means that a third order polynomial function is being used for each interval of two adjacent knots. The word spline means that each interval has its own set of coefficients. The word spline also requires the continuity of slopes and curvatures at all knots. We only need two sets of equations for the natural cubic spline interpolation. In equation one, fx is the interpolated value at x. Multiplying the matrix with the column vector gives the coefficients of the polynomial. Coefficients are based on an interval, which are defined by the two ends of the interval. t is calculated from x based on this definition. X is the global coordinate. T is the local coordinate of an interval. Fi and Fi minus one are the given values of the data points. Fi double prime and Fi minus one double prime are the two curvatures at the two ends of the interval. These two curvatures are calculated from equation two. The first row and the last row of the matrix are the boundary conditions of the natural spline. The rest of the elements are calculated by the definition of A and B based on the values of the three nearby knots. All curvatures F double primes can be calculated by multiplying the inverse of matrix A and vector B. By substituting two calculated F double primes back to equation one, we get the final interpolated value F at X.